some of you might already know the brand Liebeck as a high-quality tripod manufacturer. For others, this company might still be a hidden gem. Founded in 1951, Liebeck is a Japanese family-run business specializing in manufacturing tripods and camera support equipment. Good morning. Yeah, sorry to point the camera. <laughs> Just like this. Good to see you again. Let's go. I was invited to visit their newly built factory in Tokyo and had a chance to meet Koichi-san, who is the owner and CEO of the company and his dedicated team. Koichi-san, so nice to be here. Thank you so much, welcome. We are here at your new factory. Yes. So um, this is uh, the Japanese factory. We have another factory in Taiwan, but this is uh, the factory slash headquarters in Japan. How did you find yourself being the CEO or the owner of the company? Well, there was a uh, it wasn't so smooth with the transaction uh, from the second generation to the third. And then uh, there were, um, to be honest, there were some confusion as well. But um, uh, yeah, I just, I was appointed and, uh, well, actually the former president asked me if I wanted to become the president and I said, yes, why not? And uh, I was determined to uh, make the company uh, bigger and stronger. The company has around 80 employees in total, a small company that has been around for over 70 years. Liebeck was founded by Koichi-san's grandfather, who had a passion for covering the demand for photography tripods in the 1960s and 70s. And today, Koichi-san is determined to lead the company into the next chapter of success by keeping their standards high, and it shows. Without his ongoing dedication, the facility wouldn't have been standing today and we wouldn't be talking to each other. It's a nice view. It's a, yeah, it's, really it's my favorite place. To celebrate the exciting journey Liebeck has taken since Koichi-san took over, we will have to go back a couple of weeks. Moments before guests starting arriving for the opening of the company's new facility, Koichi-san goes over his welcoming speech one last time. Not only is this opening ceremony a milestone in the company's history, but it's also a sign of reassurance that the company is doing well and expanding and that there is something new to show, something to be proud of. Guests from all over the world were invited to take part in Liebeck's big day. So this place is open right now. So if I may ask, because the competition also in the tripod business is becoming very fierce and very stiff. Different companies from many nationalities. What will be the what is the, what is the biggest asset of your products, if 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 I may ask? Well, for our uh, tripods, there are many series that we have, and they have all different concepts. But um, I think overall. Liebeck is uh, different from other brands because of the cost effectiveness. So with a certain amount of money, what you get is by far um, more than other brands. So I think that's the, the biggest um, concept of Liebeck as a whole. Each area of the new building was built to function in the most efficient way without wasting space or money. Koichi-san made sure that the rooms feel spacious by dividing each department into sections while keeping in mind that they need to work together on a daily basis. 
the warehouse was built to keep mobility and workflow as efficient as possible. Uh, having a lot of stock as a manufacturer in Japan, uh, I thought this was a good solution. The same goes for the assembly line. We have different desks that uh, is dedicated to one product, but maybe next week we are making something else. So this can be very, very flexible. The line could be in a different formation, and that's why they're all in dollies, the desks. So it's very flexible here. In very Japan. nice. Yeah. Liebeck's strong slogan really does make sense, Japanese craftsmanship. But still, I wanted to ask Koichi-san for his interpretation of it. For me, Japanese craftsmanship is all about um, quality, delivery and cost. So it's uh, basic stuff actually. But if you're sincere enough and if you're dedicated enough to be serious enough to um, devote everything for that three components, then that's Japanese craftsmanship. To begin with, our CEO, Koichi Yamaguchi, would like to give a welcoming speech. I saw you at the day of the opening of the factory. You were very excited, of course. What went in your head? Was there any, anything specific that you were thinking about? What was the main thing that when you stood in front of everybody and gave the speech? There were so many things in my mind. Um, first, I was thankful for all the support that everybody gave me, including my family and, of course, dealers, partners, customers, everybody. But at the same time, I felt that this was only the beginning, the start. I think it's not, well, it was a ceremony of completion of the factory, but actually it was a start of a new um, history. And that um, I think now with the new factory, the basic um, uh, infrastructure of the company is now complete. So now we will try to improve everything and a whole new uh, history will start from now. So I was not satisfied, but I was, mm, I had a very strange feeling of like hungerness and motivated, exciting very excited about the future rather than what I have done. So that was uh, the feeling that I, ha I had in the ceremony. Uh, as you mentioned, Johnny, uh, we are a very small team, but uh, everybody here loves uh, making stuff, um, including the sales team as well. They like products, uh, metal, plastic, products and uh, uh, here in our team everybody is passionate of what we do and uh, that uh, makes uh, some difference between other uh, manufacturers I, I suppose. Yeah, of course, I mean, the, the passion, I mean, I will not be surprised, I hope nobody goes to sleep with a tripod. <laughs> no. But, I, of course, you see you see that people are dedicated. You see everything is uh, handmade, or so much of it is handmade. It's actually amazing. How many parts you have in a tripod head? You told me and I forgot. Yes, uh, oh. it's, uh, a video tripod could have like 300 to 500 pieces. What's that? This is some slippers for you. <laughs> he has been in the company for more than 25 years now. Uh, very skilled and uh, very precise. What happens when he leaves? The, the knowledge will go? Um, he is trying to teach um, the younger guys who is the same or same age as his grandchildren.
and even the you know we always talk about fluid heads mm -hmm. yes kind of as an industry standard yes even the fluid head which is a type of i guess oil mm -hmm. yes even that you crafted by yourself you're using your own formula yes uh, thank you for pointing out yes uh, we combine uh, some grease into a formula original formula that is strong in very cold weather and also hot weather and the smoothness so we have to blend all the grease and oil here this part is designed uh, especially for big trucks, uh, container uh, trailer trucks, and also trucks with uh, wing type doors that can open up. And uh, the ceiling is six meters high so that it doesn't interfere with the, the truck doors. I was just, um, honored to be invited to the opening of this new facility, which is by the way, standing on the same original place where the original factory was. Yes. So my grandfather founded the company in another location, but 55 years ago, approximately, he made a factory here. What do you remember from your grandfather? This is my grandfather when uh, he opened the factory um, in his 30s. He was very kind to his grandchildren, but he was very serious about his work. And uh, he never had a, a proper education, actually. He was uh, not so fortunate at that time. I remember that my grandfather helped me a lot um, with everything, actually. Um, I went to university because of him. He wanted me to be in an university because he had no education in his life. So he wanted me, if it, if it was something else that I was worried about. He wanted to take care of that. So um, uh, I had so much from him. I wanted to pay back uh, what he given me. So I joined uh, Liebeck uh, around 10 years ago. He was very old at that time. He was uh, almost 100 years old. He, he did see me enter the company, but not as a CEO. Um, he didn't see me becoming the president and the CEO of the company. So, um, but I think uh, in, in his heart, uh, I think he understood. So I'm proud of uh, becoming the president. What is your vision for the future for, for, for Liebeck? Mm -hmm. Well, um, the main vision is uh, to hit the 100th anniversary. So that's 27 years from now. Wait, wait, let me calculate if I'm still going to be here to document. <laughs> Maybe yes. <laughs> yes. It will be in 2051. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> yes. So if I have the main goal to hit 100th anniversary, then there's so many things I have to do before or to continue this business. So, of course, financially, of course, product lineups, of course, business portfolio, of course, um, everything that is everything i have to do i need to do in order to hit 100th anniversary it's not so easy to continue business for 100 years so uh there's so much things on my list koichi-san thank you very much it was really nice talking to you thank you very much i'm very curious what the future has in stock for libeck i hope to see the company bloom until they celebrate their 100th birthday and well beyond that Koichi-san's passion and drive were truly inspiring. I'm honored to have been invited to the opening ceremony and that I had some extra time to peek inside the company and film this interview. Thank you Liebeck, the whole team and Koichi-san for your time and kind hospitality. See you soon. So for everybody's health and uh, prosperity, <laughs> Kanpai! Kanpai!